Okay, we've just installed Arch Merged with a D and we're going to install i3 on it. i3 WM, go look it up. It's a tiling manager and we have a way, an easy way to install everything. So first we log in, just be on the correct screen, Eric. And the first thing we have to do is whatever, wherever we are, just type mirror and mirror is going to look around and say and look for the fastest Arch Linux server so the download goes as fast as possible. How do I know this? Because there are aliases and an alias is just say okay I make an alias and mirror equals another command or ls equals another command. So it's and just an, a way to uh, make our work easier. So mirror has been done. Next up, we probably want to do sudo pacman minus syu and see if everything is installed. The new versions are installed. The latest kernel is coming down. That's Linux, Linux, you see there, 4.14.12 at this point in time. And then in my case, this happens. So normally everything just works fine with you guys, but there is an, an internet service provider. He has uh, blocked one of the ports here so i have to manually intervene so if that's not the case just skip ahead i'll just have to do this manual intervention to pacman.d what was it can be yeah that one that's the one all i have to do is tell him look the normal ports and it somewhere 11,000 is blocked just use this port and go ahead again and then the updates will come in and that's the problem so this key um, at this point in time of course it's always like that the updates will come soon at this point in time we need to i need i need to communicate with the key server and that's not not possible due to the intervention of my internet service provider which for thank you anyway i'm downloading i'm upgrading and that's how it should be so this is how it looks uh, normally you don't have to do this port thing this port 80 change so arch merge is going to be a small version a base of arch linux and it has no applications no graphical things no display managers nothing at all it's up to you to decide what you want how do you decide well, there are lots of script, scripts already available. You check it out on archmerged.com. And in, in this instance, in VirtualBox, you git clone something from github.com. That will never change. We are archmerge. Is it Linux, Windows, or Mac? It's Linux. And archmerged, if you shorten that down, you have AMD, archmerged. And then i3, xfce, openbox, cinnamon, and so on. We'll have all desktop environments in the future. Very soon we will launch AMD Awesome. So this is about i3. We've changed a lot of things and that's why we're making a new tutorial. We've made 6.3.1 rolling, meaning i3 is not coming from the github anymore it's coming from a package where are the packages from arch merge sudo pacman minus s arch merge twice on tap even three times on tap these are all the packages from arch merge and that's why we're rolling anything i'll update goes in the packages and comes in your system okay and this is the one we need somewhere down there arch merged i3 wm git that's the one we need for i3 but we have now with this command git clone we have now this folder there amd i3 so we go inside change directory cd amd i3 ls this is what you get and this is what you should change if you see Eric, you're going to install uh, Vivaldi. I never use that. 
then you put a hashtag in front of it and you'll never see it. Change my scripts, back them up, Dropbox, OneDrive, on GitHub, and you can in reinstall next time again. When I update the scripts on GitHub, uh, you check my folder with your folder with the application Melt. Super tool. And there you go. Be efficient. Be Make this your personal installation. Right, let's go. You probably have guessed that we need to run from small numbers to big numbers. Let's go ahead and install everything. Here we see already i3 gaps next. So we've chosen to not to go for i3, but i3 gaps. The advantage is that you can delete or put the gaps to zero, and then you have i3. So we can have a gap between windows, so you can see through, um, well, and see your wallpaper behind it, for instance. There are some, of course, more advantages to it, but um, that's the main for me, anyway. Installed. LS will always show you again. If you do arrow up, you can see what's the last thing you've um, uh, installed. So 100 is the last one, then less, and then I know it's going to be 110. So you want to have sound. Okay, 110. If, for instance, you do this typo, then you just enter as faster, and then you just type it with a slash this time, and then, okay, Bluetooth is now installed. Printers. If you don't need Bluetooth, you don't need the printers, just don't run. I believe that was 140 now. Now, uh, I think unless the command for Samba is going to take long. Samba, with that, if you want, uh, you're working on computer one and you have a folder with photos and you want to share those for other computers in your network, then you need Samba. So most of us don't need Samba. I'm going to skip this one just because of the time it takes to install it. 150 is a quick one, and then we're at 200. 200 is going to install all Arch Linux repo applications, so things that are coming from the repo, from Arch, Core, and Extra, Community, you see the names in front. So these applications are um, Atom, for instance, I see here, and they will be installed. Dark table, Kim, Inkscape, you know, the most, how do you say that, popular applications. Chromium, Firefox, Like I said, if you see an application that you don't like, for instance, OpenShot is maybe something people will not use to edit videos, I'll just put a hashtag in front of it. Um, you have it for later, but it's not installed then. If you go uh, Evolution, I saw, if you don't use these mail clients, but you go always to the website and go online, don't install it. I often need to install these things because of my Sardi and Surfing icons. I have always to check if everything is okay with these icons. So and that's one of the reasons why I install these applications. Now 
just when I pause the video, it ends. So that was 200. Now we have 300 and 300 is coming from the AOR. So this is software that's not for, not dependent on of, of the of the, the desktop environment. So not dependent of i3 in this case. It's just software from the AOR. What do we see here? This is the Conkey, the Lua Archers Conkey. If you want to have Conkeys on your system, you need to have Conkey. And if you want, if you have Conkeys that are interlaced over using Lua, then you need also Lua support. So we're installing that from the AOR. And that's now installed. The cool retro term has been installed. So if you don't like it, it's, it's sometimes it's nice from time to time. But of course, if it's new, it's nice. And if you've seen it so many times, you say, well, I will not install it. Well, do install Minstick, uh, Minstick Git. I've been uh, reading a lot of people having problems to write the ISO to USB. I have written 70 Linux distributions all from ISO to USB with Linux Mint stick. Never had any issue. Um, uh, Rufus is probably also a good alternative, but that's then for the guys who are on Windows. So I have always Linux somewhere here, so I use Mint stick. It's actually coming from Linux Mint, but we have it in AUR and it's installed. Now it's building temps which is a nice tool to know the weather. Now, best thing to do is now pause the video and wait till everything installs now. These scripts can take a while and 300 was a long script. So a lot of software has been installed depending on the speed of your internet and so on. So you definitely want to get rid of the things you do not want to save some time. So 400 was fast, just like I said, just press enter. I always do this double pointer and then type a slash. We only need a few things. This is for the conkeys, yet. What does it stand again for? That's a name, but first let's install. So this one is the most important one. Why is this? This is our Arch Merge repo. So we have all these packages sudo pacman minus s yyu. Um, sorry, so used to type it. This one, I mean, from there, I make a selection with an i3. What do I need in i3? I need this, that, and that, and that package. So this is our rolling. Um, release 6.3.1, 2. Point was already re re rolling, but we forgot just one file. So 6.3.1 is 100% rolling now. And I just handpick them out, what I need in XFCE, what I need in OpenBox, what I need, need in, in Awesome and stuff like that. So that's how it goes. Rather than thinking about all that, there's just one script that says, get me everything from Arch Merch. And this is the arc themes. So we nice design, the root kit, the slim lock themes, the things that I need just for i3. Wallpapers. You can get rid of that, of course. And everything is now copy pasted. And the last line copying all files and folders from etc scale to the home folder. So that's the main script if you skip this script you'll never get in i3 600 is essential all right 700 if you like some more fonts always nice to play around with fonts in i3 and in other desktop environments and then we have auto login if you don't want that i do want to to push on the power button go outside, get my coffee, get back in, and I should not log in, tell him what my login is or what my password is. I want to auto log in. So that's this one. What's your login? What's your name? In my case is Eric, and that's it. Next time I will 
auto login into the system. If you have this microcode error when you boot up, use a red line and then you can run 900. And there's a fix for the cursor so that everywhere, wherever you go with your mouse, it always is the cursor breeze no. If you want to have another cursor, you should change the script. And we have 930 as well. A fixed lock screen. So let's fix the lock screen as well. And that's it. Lock screen applied. LS. And everything from this AUR, or sorry, this, this GitHub has been um, dealt with except the personal folder, but the personal folder, I'll explain that one in another tutorial.